Grom's the latest thrower to get added to Brawl Stars, and you know what that means? More food for Mortis. But for real, Grom plays very differently than the other throwers in the game because of his projectile speed and easily predictable attack pattern. And today, I'm going to teach you how to play him in 60 seconds. Let's go! Grom's attacks are pretty easy to hit if you catch enemy brawlers off guard. The projectile speed is fast enough that hiding behind walls that are close to important parts of the map, like the gem mine, can give you a huge advantage. When an enemy goes for a gem, bombard them with attacks and you'll find your super shark up really quickly. Then use your super to take out enemy bushes, important walls, or just interrupt whatever they're trying to do. Keep in mind that Grom's super pierces brawlers, but not walls. Dropping a super on a siege push, for example, can give you a ton of value. Possibly the most interesting thing about Grom is actually his watchtower gadget. Putting it in a safe area that also gives you a massive vision over your enemies will give you a major tactical advantage, especially in bush heavy maps. And at its worst, it's a good way to tank a couple shots if you got too close to an enemy. Grom will most likely be best in maps first and mode second. As long as he has a good set of walls to hide behind and some bushes for his gadgets to give vision over, he'll probably be viable, which isn't too unlike other throwers in the game. Still, for the easiest trophies, I'd recommend Gem Grab and Siege. Keep an eye out for my 60 second fan guide coming soon and use code C-H-I-K-E-N CHICKEN in the Brawl Stars shop. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.